have a sound clip because we were going to talk about the name Lucifer. Um, I'm about to have a daughter in in uh, in July, Lord willing, and uh, my wife and I have actually thought about the name uh, Luciana, which is also related to Lucifer. <laughs> so why would I name my daughter such a thing? Um, so I'm not good with etymology of words, but you certainly are, Rob. But uh, now we definitely have. Actually, I have a clip for this, too, um, just to set us up. And then you can either tear this apart or agree with this guy. I have a feeling it's going to go one of those two ways. Um, <laughs> in Isaiah 14, 12 through 17, I'll read the very first part of this and then we'll play the clip. Um, it says, how you are fallen from heaven. And then some of your translations are going to say Lucifer of the dawn or Lucifer, uh, just Lucifer. Um, how are you, how you are cut down to the ground? Uh, this word Lucifer here, or this name Lucifer, and that's what we're going to talk about for a few seconds. And let's actually get here into my clips. Pardon me while I pull this clip up. I actually don't remember this clip very well. I just thought that you would be able to shed light on this person's no, now you're going to have to pardon the, uh, the background music that this guy had in his. Okay, here you go. Here, here's the clip that I found online. Hey, what's up? I just want to show you that according to the Holy Bible, uh, Lucifer is not Satan. Lucifer is not the devil. Lucifer is in fact a title that means light bearer, light bringer. And it is speaking about a man. It's used as an analogy because Lucifer is only mentioned one time in the entirety of the Bible. The word Lucifer is only used once. And when it's used, it's not speaking about the devil. Okay, so he says it is a word, it's a title, it means light bearer, and he says it's only used one time in the entirety of the Bible. One time. One time. All right. You know what? He's School wrong. us. He's wrong. Okay, school us, Rob. I had a feeling he was wrong. <laughs> Who want, who's, everybody got their schooling hats on? <laughs> oh, man, I wish I had a sound clip for that. Okay, okay. <laughs> Lucifer comes. It might be used once in, like, the King James or something. So if you're a KJV only. But basically, Lucifer is Latin, right? Mm. Someone posted. They're correct. It means light bearer. Lucy, it's from Luce and Ofer. Uh, bearer of light and it occurs three times in the Latin Vulgate so the Lucifer the main one is Isaiah fourteen twelve, and it translates uh, the Hebrew word Ben Shachar so son of light son of the morning no son of the morning Hillel actually well Hillel shining one Son of the morning, basically. So this, um, this word, Hillel, shining one, becomes Lucifer in the Latin, because the Latin's just trying to translate it. And um, what what we have there is like the person whoever we were just talking about, or whoever just. Uh, recorded that post that we listened to um they're right it's just a title it's not a it's someone's being called that but it's not it's not in the hebrew in other words it's not a hebrew word it's not a greek word the greek uses heosphoros which means the same thing and lucifer in the lat in the latin well it occurs two other places it occurs in job chapter 11 and it translates the word boker morning so this idea of morning light is in both these situations ben shachar is son of the dawn so um, both isaiah 14 12 and job eleven seventeen have this idea of light in the morning morning light guess what it occurs in Second Peter, one verse nineteen, in the Vulgate also. Ooh, read so remember, it for the us. Latin Vulgate is where we get the word Lucifer in the first place. It doesn't it, it doesn't come on the scene 
until the Bible is translated into Latin. Well, in 2 Peter 1.19, it says, We have a prophetic word more fully confirmed to which you will do well to pay attention as to a lamp shining in a dark place until the day dawns and Lucifer rises in your hearts. What? <laughs> Wait, hang on. Oh, man, never mind. I was going to have a sound effect, but I, yeah, I didn't. I was going to do this one this, again. Knowing first of all, that no prophecy of Scripture. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I yeah. feel like I'm going to overplay that sound today because we're talking about Satan, so. <laughs> right, no, no, no. So in 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 uh, 2 Peter 1, verse 19, in the Vulgate, it takes the Greek word, Phosphoros, which means morning starts, where we get phosphorus, the, the metal that burns really, really brightly, like, you know, phosphorus. I think it's good for you, too, to have a little bit of phosphorus in your system. Is In the Latin is Lucifer. And this is a positive thing, because Peter's writing saying, you'll do well to pay attention as a lamp shining in a dark place till the day dawns and Lucifer rises in your hearts. This is He's not saying the devil... He's talking about he's not Yeshua, saying the prophetic he? word is confirmed by the devil rising up in your hearts. He's talking about that this is the word of prophecy is like a lamp shining in a dark place. So I think this idea of Lucifer, because, you know, remember a couple months ago we did a show on the Nephilim, and there was a guy, I don't remember his name, who we played interview. He was on That Sensational or no, that's <laughs> that's supernatural. That's sensational. Oh my word, that's what I'm gonna start calling it. <laughs> no, you remember the guy? Do you know the guy I'm talking about? <laughs> yes, I know who he you're talking talks about. Like this. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, he has a guy on the table who'd written some books about the Nephilim and all this stuff and the, the Giborim. <laughs> remember? The yeah, Giborim, yeah, yeah. The mighty ones and the hybridity and all this kind of stuff and mixed uh mixed gene pool and stuff like that well he somewhere when i was reading all that he there's this talk about the lucifer project and they have this conspiracy about there's this thing called the lucifer project and they're worshiping the devil and it's like you know no one bothered to actually go back and see oh you know <laughs> lucifer it has in second peter uh 119 it has a positive meaning in the vulgate so I agree with the audio clip that, at least in that point, in that point that we need to kind of step away from, from this idea of Lucifer being, in the ancient world anyway, a title for Satan. Um, it, it just doesn't hold water. Now, I know in our common you know, language in English today, people think of Lucifer as the devil. And that, that's under, you know... Uh, that's understandable, but that's we're interested in how what words meant back then is, is our interest because that's where we want to anchor our thought.